Thanks, Holly. I'm, I'm gratified to see so many faculty uh, colleagues here for this, and uh, as well as lots of people from the instrument companies. I think, I think the, the key thing that we want people to know in Cache Valley is that more people work for environmental instrumentation companies in Logan and in Cache Valley than anywhere in the world. We put that on our plaque right here. That some years ago we did the math on that and, and we couldn't find any other place that had more people doing instruments than right here in Cache Valley. So over the past several years, the instrument companies have been very generous donating their products to the university so we could set up a network of weather stations like this one all over Cache Valley. This one is our sixth, I think it's the sixth station. It's got a unique dual purpose because I hope you'll take a minute to come up here and look at the uh, educational black. A lot of people with advanced degrees collaborated to get the wording <laughs> just right on that black. To, to, and the first version, you had to have a PhD to understand it, and now, and now it's written for the, the, the young patrons that come back and forth in the library. Um, in fact, I, I have my first, first, I have a handout for you. Oops, oops. This is just a copy of the plaque, and, and uh, you could take it with you. One of the key things we're doing with weather is using these stations to help understand our air quality. And this is one of the stations that measures carbon dioxide. It's labeled on the station. We're using carbon dioxide as a tracer gas to understand atmospheric mixing during inversions. Now, we're standing in, in Cache Valley, we're standing kind of in the bullseye for the emissions of carbon dioxide because of all the traffic right here in Logan. So then we look at how well it, how it disperses, and it's been tremendously useful to help us understand that. I want to show you one graph about our air quality. Most people think our air is getting worse. When we run calculations of air quality, this probably should say air pollution index, but when this line slopes down, it means our air is getting better. That's a really positive thing, and it's getting better because of better cars, better furnaces, better water heaters. This is a great thing, but look at the scatter in this data. We have bad years and we have good years, and it's not because we drive more some years than others. It's a gradual change. So what we're hoping to do with understanding atmospheric mixing is reduce the scatter in this graph so we can better predict air quality. Randy Martin's here from the College of Engineering. He's been a key leader in uh, helping us understand atmospheric chemistry, and now with our people doing climate and, and weather modeling, we're in a couple atmospheric chemistry with atmospheric mixing so we can better understand how we're getting better. But it's a, it's a tremendous incentive to see this line gradually sloping down. These weather stations, we, we have one on campus and we get asked all the time, what would it cost to put one on our campus? What would it cost to put one in our town? There, people see these on the internet, they get so excited. These are custom stations. There's not really a price for this. Um, so I end up saying, you gotta come to Logan to uh, get this kind of quality in a weather station. <laughs> 